Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial in the COCAS Code IDE series. In this part we're going to be looking at auto-completion. This tutorial assumes you have set up COCAS Code IDE and generated a project. If you haven't, don't worry, there are some t tutorials earlier in this series to show you how to do that. We will look at the auto-completion within the editor. Xcode does this really well with COCAS Code, uh, I mean COCAS 2D X C++, but it's terrible with JavaScript. Fortunately, you can use this single editor on Windows and Mac and not have to worry about these sorts of differences slowing development down because that's what they would do if you're switching between different editors so, and they work slightly differently. You're used to, I don't know, one and you're not quite used to the other, or one doesn't quite have the feature set that the other one does, then it slows down development because you're, you're learning the editor again while you're programming. So let's go ahead and open up COCAS Code IDE. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're not going to be running anything, it's going to open up like app.js. So if we go down here, there's a sprite created here. And what I'm going to do is, I want to create a new sprite. So I'm going to do var. I'm going to call it sprite2 equals new. See that that's an auto completion right there. You can click enter cc dot and then it comes up with everything that's part of cc. Then I'll put when I put dot sp it comes up with everything that starts with sp. I'm going to put a sprite then I can just click enter within here. I can just type what I want to do. I'm going to do res dot hello. It's picked up hello world underscore png which is great. Semicolon. It helps me save time and I know it's correct because they suggested it. Now I'm going to do sprite2.set position. And for this, I'm just going to put. Hmm, Why should I put for the position? I'm going to put. Actually, no. You know what? I want to go back. I want to see what the methods there are. So, dot set position. I'm just going to set position x as 100. I'm going to do sprite two dot set position y as four hundred semicolon. Now I'm going to do sprite two dot set. I want to see what else I can set. So this way it helps me see what the functionality, the opacity. Yeah, I want to set the opacity. It ranges from zero to two five five. I think one hundred and twenty eight will be a nice opacity. Sprite two dot. See what else we got. What else can I set? Mm, I think the Z order should be on top of everything. I want to put something really high, so it's at 99,999. Sprite 2.set. See what else we've got. Uh, even if I don't use these functions right now, I can see, oh, okay, I want to maybe do this later. Uh, see what we have. I go through them and I'm like, no, I'm pretty happy with what I've done with the sprite so far. So what I'm going to do is just this dot add child. So this is great because it allows me to auto complete the add child. It gives me information here about the add child and it also shows me the other parameters as well. I just want to keep it simple and just add child. So I'm just going to put sprite to delete all the other parameters. And that's it. I don't want any Z index, so I'll leave that up to actually because I've already set the Z index, so I don't need to set it here and I don't want to add any tag. So it's that simple to use auto completion within Cocos Code ID. It helps save a lot of time. It's like I said it's universal between Mac and Windows. It's also universal between the different platforms. So if you're developing for web or the iOS or Android or whatever it is, if Cocos supports it this supports it and therefore it just, just helps you save time. The next tutorial will cover code hinting. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.